Where were you on the evening of April 20th, 2016? Well, I was... Why do you want to know? All right, that's lunch. Wait a minute, Shockey. We can be prepared here. We got to get through this mock trial. My court, my rules. Well, before I'm held in contempt of court by a associate playing a judge, where do you guys want to go? Let's go to El Taco Real on Hoffman Street in Hammond. They have authentic Mexican food since 1974. You know what? I agree. They're one of the region's best restaurants. We should go there. All right, let's go. I know a shortcut. Ramondo, what do we got? Gentlemen, these are special nachos. Uh, a little, little fried tortilla chip, uh, refried beans, melted Mexican cheese, jalapeno, pickled carrot, guacamole, and sour cream on top. Remember, the pickled jalapenos are, are, are spicy. Okay. And what makes them special? Uh, the, 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 the regular nachos don't have the sour cream in the guacamole. The, actually, the, what makes them special is these are a little more expensive. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ramondo, what do we have next? All right, uh, this is a very popular dish. It's called queso fundido. It's a uh, little in invention of ours, although other people have similar I ideas. It's a, it's a sauce underneath there. It's a roasted onion, tomato, jalapeno sauce, Mexican cheese on top. And I'll help you out just a little bit because it's kind of hard to get started. It's very, very gooey. It's like a pizza without a dough, without a crust. But if I cut it on here like this for you, you get, you get the idea of how it's going to be served. A few years of experience, huh? Oh my gosh. I've been here 43 years, ever since I was two. <laughs> so what kind of cheese is used in this? This is a Chihuahua cheese. It's a very high cream, very high cream content, monster style. Why do you choose that cheese? Uh, uh, because it's meltability. It, uh, it's actually, um, because it's high cream, it has very little oil in it. You ever notice you, you go to a pizza joint and the, the pizza's top, there's a lot, a lot of sheen of oil. Well, that's cheese that has maybe a little less quality and they add the oil for the weight and it, and it separates from the rest of the cream. All right, bus boy, what do we got next? All right, now this I invite you to I'm gonna all eat amongst the three of you. These are our fajitas. This is my homage wow, to look at that. a, a, a Mayan God. dish called uh, uh, cochinillo pibil. These are pibil is, a, is the word for, for barbecue. So these are my barbecue fajitas. There's a, 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 a rendered bacon, a tomatoes, steak, chicken, onions, bell peppers, garlic, lots and lots of flavors, lots of layering. This is a, my other a dish that I offer you. Um, it's carne cochile special, that's what we call a special carne cochile. This pork meat really made our reputation. Uh, it's hand trimmed. We trim it three times. I mean, literally, there's no uh, gristle or no fat in there. Um, the eggs are, are fried, but they're fried very soft. I don't know, Dave. This has been a heck of a meal. I'm not sure that I'm going to be able to keep it, you know, to keep going without taking at least a little nap. I need, it's siesta. Come on. We need to have you focus as the judge. The rules of evidence you got to abide by. I'm just saying, you know, in Mexico, they actually take naps after lunch. I mean, why couldn't we do that? Well, how many times have you been to Mexico? <laughs> so are we ready to go? Nope. We definitely need to teach him a lesson. Hey, Judgey Wudgey. Why are you sitting here with all your friends? It's been another rough day at the office. You know, I fell asleep again. Well, you don't have to go home, but can't stay here. Salud! 